this video we are going to see how to boot pink z2 board from sd card first we need to download image so go to pink.io site download whichever image you want see this is pink z2 sd card image for z1 sd card image so download this will be zip file now after downloading it looks like this so i have downloaded pink z2 version 3.0.1 zip file now you need to have balena hf so like you cannot directly copy image from this to uh, your sd card you need to etch it so flash from which one pink z2 v3.1 flash from here it is already selected so this is my sd card f drive which is of 16 gb flash so it will take some time so you need to format the disk format disk So here it is flashing. So here you can see these are all files for booting now so at last your sd card should get named by this pink now is it rejected now let us go for hardware so here we have pink z2 board now you connect your usb and ethernet with your computer and to this board actually there are two ways of doing this thing you can directly connect this ethernet wire to your computer otherwise you can connect it to switch uh, or else you can use ethernet sp splitter also now for power supply you need to uh, set this jumper for usb you can see this in data sheet and to boot from sd card you need to change this jumper you can see this also in your data sheet um, I can say you can do it for left, this left side. Now, here you can see SD card slot. I did not insert it. So now SD card has been inserted. Let us switch on. It will take approximately more than one minute to get booted. You can see this is power light. After booting, after bitstream has been dumped, you can see this done light to get red color. After that, there will be few LEDs getting on and off. So now this is sign of it is got booted. You can see this remaining LEDs are glowing. That's all. Uh, pink Z2 has been booted from SD card.